excites me most about releasing Fading Flowers is moving into the unknown. It's, it's that whole process has started over again. Um, only now it's hopefully going to be, where is this record going to take me? Are people going to like it? Are people not going to like it? Um, will I be working at McDonald's a year from now or will I be playing stages across the country? songs on this record all deal with um, the theme of growing, finding yourself, uh, changing the way you're living or where you're living. Um, some of them are maybe a way to reflect on the life I left behind. More of them deal with the, the idea of moving forward and kind of moving forward almost blindly, uh, having not made any plans and not really knowing uh, exactly where I was going to go or what I was going to do. The fear of heading into the unknown rather than what I left behind. Wish there was more I could do or say Three thousand miles away Three thousand miles away Three thousand miles away I hope that people who have experienced similar changes in their lives can listen to this record and relate to the songs. I hope that people who have never experienced such dramatic changes. We'll get an idea of what, what that's like and maybe it will influence their own decision someday. But at the end of the day, I just hope that I've written catchy songs that people will have stuck in their head and they want to listen to over and over again. Um, if they take more out of the songs than that, that just makes me happier. Looking down, it fades, it fades away. cycles of any sort of project, it's always going to hit a peak and it's always going to drop down and then you're going to have to start again. You just hope that the life cycle is long and healthy and when you hit that inevitable peak and start fading again, you hope that the experiences that you have gone through will give you what you need to, to rise again and to make it happen again. Sometimes it's nerve-wracking and sometimes, sometimes it's healthy. Until I